overwhelming heartache over young lives lost to gun violence. A shattered community in a small Texas town grieves and honors the victims. And the investigation into what triggered the massacre is underway. And developing right now in our area, a tragedy on Staten Island where a vehicle struck and killed a one-year-old girl while she crossed the street with her mother. And good afternoon, I'm David Navarro. And I'm Lauren Glassberg, in for Shirley and Alicott. And we begin with the latest in the school massacre in Texas. The small community of Uvalde and the nation are mourning the loss of so many children and their devoted teachers. Outside of Robb Elementary, a makeshift memorial is growing. 21 crosses honor the 19 students and two teachers murdered there. Last night, family and neighbors held an emotional prayer service in the community to honor and remember the victims of gun violence. We're also seeing new video of the 18-year-old gunman entering the school as we learn more about he was, how he was finally stopped. We have a team of reporters covering the mass shooting. Derek Waller is in Lower Manhattan, where officials are observing a moment of silence in honor of the victims. Rena Roy has more on the victims of this tragedy. And we begin with ABC's Morgan Norwood. She is in Uvalde with the latest. David, Lauren, families here in Uvalde still trying to make sense of all of this with concerns now about how the suspect was able to make it inside. The mother of Salvador Ramos, the gunman who police say killed 19 children and two teachers, telling ABC News she had, quote, an easy feeling sometimes about her son, saying he can be aggressive if he got really mad. Also, the communications between the gunman and a 15-year-old girl in Germany now raising questions about missed warning signs. ABC News reviewing a string of text messages through Facebook. The gunman allegedly sent the teen he met online, detailing he'd shoot his grandmother and was heading to a school. Meta, the parent company of Facebook, telling ABC News those messages were one-to-one -one text messages and were not public. <laughs> This as new details emerge in the investigation and the timeline of the killings. Authorities now say the gunman was inside the school for about 40 minutes before he was killed by officers. <laughs> Investigators say it all began around 11 a.m. when the 18-year-old suspect shot his grandmother in the face and took off in her trunk before crashing about a block and a half from the school. Then, dressed in tactical gear, he ran toward the school with a backpack and an AR-15 style rifle and at 11.32 was confronted by a school resource officer outside. But officials say at that point, no shots had been fired. Gunfire was not exchanged, but the subject was able to make it into the into the school. Law enforcement officials say they're now reviewing this video, which appears to show the suspect entering the school as part of their investigation. The gunman then entered a back door and went down two short hallways and then into a classroom on the left-hand side. Authorities say a multi-agency tactical team breached that fourth grade classroom door, a Border Patrol SWAT team member killing the suspect. They put together a entry team and uh, they found the gunman in one of the classrooms and uh, they took out the threat. And force responders painting a gut-wrenching picture of the panic here at the scene. One fireman telling ABC News that desperate parents were rushing to the school, some smashing out windows and pulling their kids out. 